Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson is Try B by Betsy Winkler. And I was thrilled when Betsy uh, messaged me and said she had some tangles that um, she would be willing to let me make videos on. And I was um, thrilled. And this is a beautiful tangle. When I first did it, oh, I don't know how long ago Betsy did this one, um, I I struggled with it. And I just set it aside because I knew I wasn't going to make a video out of it. And uh, I think you're going to love it. You can see that I've done it on a black tile. This looks like I had two black tiles there. A black tile on a tan with blue and on a white um, tile. And I'm just going to set those over to one side. And I'm just going to demo on this black tile with a white jelly roll. And you're going to see how simple this tangle is. And it starts out, and I'm just going to start in the center, with kind of a, a curved line. And it might be better if I come in a little bit closer on my tile. So I just do a curve line and then another curve line and then another curve line. So it kind of does a little triangle that is kind of curved in. Matter of fact, if I look at that, it looks like the Eiffel Tower. Well, that's me. I always think of something that, but it's got those little curves. And now the next step to me is a little like a shark's fin. So one side is going to Convex, convex and concave. So curve in and it makes that little, to me, a little shark's fin. And I do that on all three. And then I'm just going to work my way around this tile doing this shape. And I can do it anywhere I please as long as I make that kind of a shark's fin so it curves and comes back down on itself and I just go around my tile and it could sprawl out in another direction But look how quickly that fills up your tile. And I love working on the black with the white jelly roll. I think they're just lots of fun. You can get these in bulk on my website if you're interested. And now that I've got it done, now that is really try be and it can be embellished so what would you do to embellish it some of the tricks of of zentangle is to just echo on the inside or I haven't tried this with my jelly roll but just do how about some little highlighted tips I've done that with other pens so you just start at the tip and then you just stroke down kind of lifting your pen away from the paper as you go. And you're going to get a little buildup of ink in the tips. It's going to just kind of frost the tips of that tri -B. You can see that, that that would be, but you can see here I just echoed the inside of each one. On this particular one, I'm doing that same stroke. So I'm just going to continue to go and you can, I'll speed the film up a little bit so it doesn't get too boring. You 
You do have to be careful that you don't put your hand over the top of that Jelly Roll ink until it's dried. And I missed that one right there. So I've got to, I waited just a little bit, make sure that was dry so I don't smear it. So you want to make sure you just go in order so that you do not smear that Jelly Roll because that ink does not dry quite as fast as the Micron 01 ink does. And I give that a little bit of a curve as I do it. Kind of an optional way of shading that particular tangle. And and I love circles, so I could go back in and just maybe do a little pile of circles in the bottom of here with my pen just to give it a little bit more interest. They're kind of just little, they're not even really circles, just kind of filled in dots. A very beautiful, fun tangle to do. I, I love it. Um, d shaded with a blue jelly roll and I mean, with a blue pencil. I love it. Um, it's just a beautiful tangle. So there you go. You get to see And this is Stribe by Betsy Winkler. I, I think I'm going to have fun doing her tangles. She's got several that she's given me permission to do. And so you're going to see several here in a row with Betsy's. And have a great day and thanks for watching.